What's going on, everybody? Eddie Sounded back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment as we roll into Wreckfest installment number 248. This time we return with the 90s Formula One mod to attack the Red Bull Ring against some of the always ridiculous AI. And hopefully we don't get turn one memed on like Zhou Guan Yu because that wreck he had the other day looked like something right out of this very game. So glad he's okay. Speaking of the game, let's get to it. And there we have it. Lights go out. Away we go as is tradition with this mod. Uh, just ignore the fact that those lights were very painfully lit. Uh, we may have all jumped to start right there. I'm not sure what's going on, but we're going to jump the first corner as well. And here's the turn one meme that we've all been waiting for. Thank you, Sebastian Bourdais. Here I newly expanded the F1 roster again to get some extra legends and drivers of old involved in the mix. And what do they do? They just immediately punk me right down in the first corner because I was so kind as to give them the time of day. And now I got to race with Brendan Hartley and get wrecked by him because we can't even handle going side by side. Is that Glock? Oh my God, Glock is dead. Nico's just trying to get up here and tell us he beat Lewis in the same equipment. And there is some equipment going up and over and taking Nico to the wall with him. And there's Papa Rosberg trying to wipe us out. That's another F1 family going absolutely nuts. Wow, all right then, guys. Nice one there. I know I didn't have the greatest corner, but geez, these AI are having all-star caliber exits off that last corner. We're going to get a huge run down the straight. We're going to side draft with Juan Pablo Montoya who had his day at F1. I'm going to have my day with the track limits. Don't mind me out here. That's how you get the job done in my world. It's no biggie. Look, the stewards aren't even listening. They took the day off. I bribed them. I gave them a steak dinner. They're not even looking at the track right now. They're eating. And you can tell because they're just cars laying on the road upside down like old school F1 style. And I'm throwing it in on Danny Rick without even really meaning to it. He's throwing it right back by putting me in the wall. That was just dastardly, but I respect it, and he's paying for it every right now. He's wrecking huge, and we're through the wreck like days of thunder. Have you ever? That was gorgeous. Grosjean's on the wall with three wheels. You know what? It's probably for the best if they don't let me catch Hulkenberg by the end of this thing. He and I have some unfinished business from the hell ride that may need to be revisited as we have lost. I almost went to the pit lane on accident back there, and now we're just going to race it to the line here for seventh. Feel like that's all we ever do. We almost just killed someone on the cooldown. And how fitting is it given what happened at Silverstone this past weekend, that turn one on lap one is almost certainly gonna be an all day issue here at the Red Bull Ring for us. And I guess at least we didn't go tumbling like an inch and a half shy of the grandstands. We got that. Everybody isn't as lucky as us though. They really took some big shots here at the beginning of this thing. We just barely squeaked by the Rosberg family meltdown. I really have no idea where to put myself either because it feels like no matter where you go, everywhere's just death except for up the middle maybe no we almost got through that if Gutierrez didn't hang off my ass like that we might have been fine and someone would feet first in the wall rip and wouldn't you know they're gonna make me deal with the one and only Papa Rosberg Mr. Kiki himself and he's mind gamed me right off the racetrack he's rent free absolutely and totally rent free I have bombed it oh no so he just owns my soul now, right? That's the rule. That's the law. Oh, that <laughs> we got rules and laws about keeping it on track, guys. How about you give it a try? Otherwise, I'll body slam you like that guy back there. And I think we uh, may have manually extracted him from the race, if you know what I mean. Uh, he did. And he might not be the last one. Hell, I might be the next one if we keep it on the outside of Felipe here. There it is. I'm going to get to test every inch of the track limits today. But it's all good. Like I said, bribes have been sent. Checks are in the mail. And I'm going to get some draft from Juan Pablo Montoya right here. Just like old times, buddy. This should remind you of the Brickyard. You should know about that. You know how to do turn one. He just taught me how to do it. That's the first time I, like, did it appropriately. Thank you, Juan. Using lessons learned from my father. Oh, Michael Schumacher, what are you doing in the middle of the road? No. Not like this. I feel like the whole race changed from this moment on when Kike got in my head. He just absolutely ruined me, and I think that has just lingered on to the end. I mean, how do you even... I think, honestly, what genuinely happened here is I was so shocked that I actually made the corner and didn't overrun the track limits at all that I took just enough of my mind off the road in front of me, and that's how I somehow managed to just commit die. I'll ride the outside and cross your fingers and hope for the best, and over goes Eddie Irvine in turn one and all. Exactly what you hate to see, what you love to see, this gigantic run we're getting down the long straight here. Are we gonna get into the top five? We might, we have to take it three wide here. Nobody take me out. There it is, I knew it. Is this what you wanted? Is this what you wanted? Good Lord, is this what, are you satisfied with yourselves? I guess we had too good of a run going. They had to set us back somehow, like that bike crash that one time here, that was nearly atrocious. 
Oh my god, holy peck! From Papa Rosberg, who else? Who else but him? You gotta take it a little easy on me, man. I'm not running so good post spear job from down there, and he's getting occupied by Patrese. And I'm just missing corners left, right, and central here. Oh my, oh, we got a big one! Just developed out of thin air right there. What was that all about? Can we get back on the racing surface and stay here, please? So I can stop getting beat by guys like Bordet who only have three wheels. Look at the war zone going on up here. There have been troubling times at the end of this straightaway. And we're going to have some Verona here, but only the damn brakes or Emerson Fittipaldi. For Christ's sake, you got to be kidding me. This was going to be such a sick pass, too, until I just get bodied off the track. And then we give the poor camel car a camel spine with a spear. These poor guys down here don't have the same luck as that MotoGP accident I was talking about. They got crunched. Well, I kind of like how the outside's working out, but we're going to have to adapt on the fly here and send guys flying. Maybe if we can cut through the outside for why but no that just was destined to fail wasn't it and it honestly oh my holy jesus that looked terrible back there see if we can keep it on the track in this corner for once and it would appear that we can even a little power slide on exit there just to hold some speed for style points oh and these guys came in over the line they're going off track they're going over if they're not careful and i gotta take some of my own advice here because i'm flying myself in the grass and putting the block on polar resta resta polar resta i can read Sorry, Paul. You're not the usual Paul I'm used to dealing with. Paul Menard's usually the one getting on my case. This is the multiverse of Pauls once again striking. We got Bruno sent up here to deal with, and we've dealt with him. There he goes. He's gone. Oh, and I'm going to deal with myself here because I'm not looking where I'm going. Got to remember there's that little extra kink on the exit of that corner. There goes my wing, and there goes my uh, second place to Paul. Ah, I always get punked by Pauls in my life. Why does this keep happening? You gotta break the curse here, Paul. I'm sorry, I might have to shove you into this big one here if you don't shove us both. Oh my God! That was almost amazing. It might still be amazing. Hold on. How did that, how did Bordet get through that? Ow, my, Jesus! Just go around me, you freaking animals. What are you doing? Get me out of here. This is the part of the track where we shine and there it is, Bordet can't even hold the line. He's gonna hold this L here momentarily once I get to that ass. You know, fun fact about me and Morday, I actually like walked by this dude while he was on a scooter at the Detroit GP like four or five years ago. And what I'm about to do is basically run up to him and push him right off the scooter. Oh, he's pushing me back. And he blew it. You freaking stink. Oh, I'm gonna do it again. I'd like to announce my retirement. That was a moment of silence right there for my racing career, which has now come to a close after this very unfortunate incident that we all had to witness with our eyeballs. And speaking of witnessing things with our eyeballs, how about this wreck from back behind us where guys are getting space force, making Zhou Guan Yu's wreck look like a pony ride at the circus. Well, you know what my purpose is at this point? Just hold it towards the outside, abuse the track limits, and adapt and overcome the multiple abusive fathers that may be in this lineup, and thus he's just parted perfectly for us, and it's kicking off back there. Another terrible crash back to back right in that same spot. And somehow we mostly evaded his Vettel up on two wheels and upside down. And that right there is why you want to have the halo, folks. All right, it's time for us to start mugging these dudes for every spot they got. Purple sectors only down here. The AI could never, especially if we can stay out of that last corner wall that I seem to just be magnetized to. And Bruno Senna's giving me a run for my money down the straightaway. All right, buddy, we'll... See how you like this? So we turned him and we got him smoked. Perfectly executed pass techniques there right out of the sound head playbook. And now we got Yoss for stabbing to deal with. Maybe we should get away from him. Given some of the news stories I've heard of lately. Imagine having your son be Max for stabbing at me and like, hey, yo, you're going to be trash, kid. What kind of parenting is that? Can we get a little positive reinforcement out here? Please, your son's a world champion at this point. Damon Hill knows something about being a world champion. And he knows something about getting smoked, which is something everybody in front of me is learning as well. Everybody just wrecked and just hands me the lead. How can I say no to this? How can I lose now? What possible way can we find? Why am I testing the universe to find one? Well, unless Damon Hill turns into Bullet Bill real quick, it would appear we may have it in the bag, but don't even let me try to tell you it's over with before we get past this dangerous wall which we do soak it in let's go celebrate with the team because we got the dub
As we recap the rodeo at the Red Bull Ring here, we got flying Pirelli signs going everywhere amongst the destruction. We may have snatched a few souls along the way, you know, torn off a couple tires, flipped over a couple friends of ours, but that's all in a day's work. And judging by today's carnage count, I'd say it was a good day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. I know I did. It's always fun to get out here with the F1 cars and shake things up a little bit. So if you like that, you know what to do, folks. Hit that like button and subscribe for me if you have not already. It helps me out a ton and it'll get you right back here for the next one, which will be coming up soon. Thank you all so much and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!